Hey, Glenn Hughes here with 23homes.com. Again, that's 23homes.com. I'm here in the heart of Vienna at the uh, intersection of Williams Avenue and Overlook. This property here on the corner of Williams Avenue is uh, gonna be coming up for sale here shortly. Um, first of all, Electric Avenue is maybe, I don't know, two, three blocks this way, and then Gallows Road is across uh, on the other side. So from Tyson's Corner, you're maybe 10 minutes from Tyson's Corner. Then if you go down Electric Avenue and make a right on Gallows Road, you have the Mosaic District, which is uh, about four miles. And then uh, down, you got the uh, OW Bike Trail, which is maybe 200 yards in this direction. And then uh, the heart of Vienna is uh, about three miles this direction. And then if you're familiar with the Westwood Country Club, it's uh, this direction over here, about uh, four miles away. So um, you can see that there's a, a lot of activity uh, right around this particular property. So you'll have um, plenty, of, plenty of access to everything that Northern Virginia has to offer. Uh, you also get the uh, nicety of being in Vienna. So it has one of the nicest school districts uh, out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just take a, a quick look at the outside of this particular property. I'm going to walk around the house. You can see that it has the all the, the accents that most of these uh, large houses in Vienna, these teardowns and rebuilds, this was done in 2013. So for example, let's go through some of the architectural niceties of this particular property. You can see that the upper pane of the windows are gridded and the lower panes are not. So these are mixed grids. Two things, one is is that uh, it allows visibility from the bottom and then the eye doesn't wander so much on the top, uh, top of the grids right here. But you also have your shake shingles on the front to give you accents along with the stone. And of course you got your traditional eight inch uh, lap shingles that go around the house, white accents, everything is vented. If you look at the top of the house, you've got your vents for your bathroom, the vents for your uh, washer and dryer. You have a beautiful deck on the back of the house. Look at the backyard. The backyard is spacious, but at the same time, it's offering a tremendous amount of shade. You can see over here, we've got the fireplace vent. You've got the patio with the wood burning stove, uh, or should say the fire pit over here. So for entertaining access to the street. So if you got this whole yard right here to uh, entertain, you could put volleyball here. Um, you could put croquet, uh, cornhole, anything to entertain outside. So plenty of space. You have the downstairs, um, exit uh, so look at it's a quick access uh, to the downstairs and that's a true french door so both french doors open to move in uh, any type of furniture or gym equipment that you would like so this is the outside of the house just a beautiful beautiful house let's go inside now and uh, take a look around hey i'm glenn hi i'm gib check us out at our website 23homes.com this month's tip is about asking specific questions you never want to ask a general question while you're in front of a client for example you would ask them what would cause you to feel comfortable and confident that i'm the right agent for you as you point to yourself they'll go inside their brain and look for that feeling and give it straight to you if you want more tips like this check us out at 23homes.com also we are pleasant in dc maryland and virginia if you or someone you know your past client your friend looking to move in this area please let us know we would love to meet them and help you because our goal is to meet 100 new we want 100 new people yeah. don't forget about our youtube channel yes Follow us on that uh, command, YouTube. Yes, we look to connect with you. So we need your help. We're looking to meet 100 new people this year in the D.C. metropolitan area. You can email us at gift at kw.com or you can call us at 703-707-0334 or inside this email, there's a link through command where you can link straight to us. Looking forward to connect with you and serve your client too. We'll see you next month. Bye, Bye now. 
right, so we're going to go inside this house. Uh, when you first walk in, you look over here, you just use your screen to be able to roll up and you can see the, um, the accent metal railings in the top here. So you have black accents. The wood floors throughout the first level are just absolutely gorgeous. You have your bathroom on your left, an office right over here to the right. We're gonna come around into the living room area. There's the fireplace that you saw from the outside and then a secondary balcony uh, over here that uh, kind of looks overlooks your little family room. But what it does is it puts in a tremendous amount of light throughout the house. You've got your microwave and uh, wall oven right over here with the stainless steel appliances. Very, very popular is the, um, the five burner stove right here, along with the uh, vent, beautiful glass highlights, granite countertops, and all the, all the uh, doors are soft closed. So just, uh, just really well put together. You have your office right here with storage. So this could be double up as a pantry room. You also have a butler's pantry over here. So this is the first floor, quick entrance into the formal dining room. And from here, we're gonna go downstairs and then we'll finish up with the upstairs. Carpeting uh, here in the downstairs floor area. So it keeps your toesies warm. You have your utility room, and here's your in-law suite. You have a closet, access to the bathroom. It's kind of a shared bathroom because you've got another uh, access to the downstairs bath here. This is a full bath, and you can see the builder did not cut any corners. You still have your granite countertops that are also here in the bathroom along with um, the tile that goes from the bathtub all the ways up to the ceiling. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. We'll come over here. Spacious, spacious um, uh, downstairs area with the ability to add in, if you want to, surround sound. So everything is kind of wired for... Uh, We'll turn some lights on here, wired for technology. I'm missing a couple other lights. We have to go over on this uh, wall over here. All right, there we go. So you have your entertainment section over here and the owners have converted this section back here to a gym. There we go. And Part of your entertainment set, uh, center is a half kitchen. So it does have your um, uh, refrigerator. You can put a microwave down here. You'd also be able to get a dishwasher to take up one of the sections here, the cabinets. This is pretty much ready to go if you wanted to go that far. Um, more storage behind here. Your utility room is in the basement and it's behind this door here on the left. And what this door here uh, has even more storage underneath the, underneath the stairs. There's a lot of builders that don't take advantage of all the space that you may have in the house. So they've actually put storage underneath the, this is an office. Look at this beautiful view. So if you're at home and you're doing any type of create creative, writing or emails just a great place to work with the french glass door so you can see what's going on in the house bathroom over here let's explore upstairs i'm a little bit winded it's a big house you know we started on the outside so here's your here's your uh, second floor landing that balcony right there goes to the front door really creative this balcony over here goes to the family room and they use this as their reading area and game area. On the front of the house, you've got two bedrooms. One here on the left, one on the right. That does have a full bath. So if you've got boys or girls, and it's a Jack and Jill. 
This bedroom over here has got a closet and I believe a bathroom. This would be the closet. And, and I'm sorry, I'm a little bit winded. I don't know what's gotten over me. Full bath here. We'll just flick on the light super quick. And again, tiles going all the ways up to the ceiling. These are little accents that are important to anybody who's purchasing a house over a million dollars. Again, the wrought iron accents here with the spindles is just gorgeous. You've got your utility room upstairs with a utility sink. How nice is that? And then you've got your master with a three-sided fireplace. Um, huge vaulted ceilings. And of course the master bathroom uh, is this section here with your closet. Glass accents, his and hers. Um, sinks, jetted jacuzzi bathtub. So hopefully you enjoyed this tour. What I'm gonna do is take you all the ways downside, down, down to the main level again. We'll walk around real fast. But again, look at these accents. This is what I was talking to you about from on the outside of the house. The eyes are easily wandering through the lower pane, which is nice. And then of course the upper pane causes you to kind of look in. So the architect did a really nice job by putting in these accents. And notice that the accents that they did put in, these are not really wide grills either. So just an awesome job in the design work. Again, get a feel for both these rooms uh, right now. Lots, lots of light. You can see this energy from the sun is just coming in from every angle. We'll work our way down the wood stairs and we'll end up here in the main area of the house. So when you do come in through the front door, it's a great place to receive your guests. Uh, you've got the dining room on one side. They chose to have a con conservatory uh, over here. And then just look out the window. You've got this beautiful view from out the window. So whether you're gonna use this as a library, a formal living room, an entertainment center, um, just, just great, great house to, to, to come and visit and, and live in and call your own. Well, again, we'll work our way into the living room. So. Once again, my name is Glenn Hughes with 23homes.com. That's the number two, the number three homes.com. I'll see you at the next video.